solve log base 8 of x plus log base 8 of x minus 63 is equal to 2. Now first off, we can combine these two logarithms on the left side of the equation because we know the sum of logarithms with the same base is the product of their arguments, the part inside. And so we can combine them into log base 8 of x times x minus 63. On the right we have 2. And we can multiply those to get x squared minus 63x. And now we have a logarithm is equal to a number. So what we can do is to solve for x is convert it to exponential form. In other words, say that we can say that 8 squared is equal to x squared minus 63x. And so this is 64, so I'm going to subtract 64 on both sides to set it equal to 0. And so I have this quadratic, which I can factor into x minus 64 and x plus 1. And so solving for each factor here, x minus 64 equals 0, that means x has to be 64. x plus 1 equals 0, that means x has to be negative 1. And so these are our two solutions. And now we have to check by plugging each of them back into the original equation. If I plug in 64, log base 8 of 64, that works. Log base 8 of 64 minus 63, that's log base 8 of 1, that works. If you plug in negative 1, log base 8 of negative 1, well, you can't take the log of a negative number. It's not in the domain of the logarithm. So in other words, and also here, negative 1 minus 63, that's log of negative 64. It's, again, a negative number. And you cannot take the logarithm of a negative number. And so because x equals negative 1 is not in the domain of the original equation, this is what they call an extraneous root. And the only actual real solution of this equation is x equals 64.